This is going to be a very hard video to explain to anybody that knows me in real life. You're probably gonna think that I'm crazy, that I've literally lost my mind. I'm going to try to leave my body. I'm going to try to astral project. And the way that I do this is right before I sleep and right as I wake up, I keep holding onto my conscious mind so that I can stay awake mentally, but my body can fall asleep. And when my body falls asleep, I can literally just roll over and detach from my body and leave. I understand this sounds insane. I'm going to astral project and I'm gonna tell you everything about it. It's gonna be so cool. So I made a post on the astral projection subreddit looking for a AP mentor, someone to teach me exactly how to astral project over the course of a couple of weeks. And people were actually pretty receptive. Like this guy said that I taught him a lot about lucid dreaming and he said, good luck. People were really nice over here and especially one person named Pawn Sacrifice sent me a DM and this is the guy that taught me exactly how to astral project. What I help you with is to have either a spontaneous projection right when you fall asleep or transition into it upon waking up. When you're projecting, you're out of body. When you're dreaming, you're also out of body. They are siblings in the same family. You know that movie you keep on in the background just to have some noise and not pay attention to? That's the dream. Pausing in the middle of the movie, that's going lucid. Going to the movie selection menu, that's astral projection. Have you heard about WB2B, like wake back to bed? It's kind of like uh, wake youth lucid dreaming, right? Because when you wake up, like about five hours in, you're disrupting that REM cycle, right? Because it gets shorter and shorter as you sleep. Before you go to sleep, I need you to write down affirmations. You need to do that clearly and, and precisely, but I think one of the keys is to be very specific with what you want. So there's different effects that you can experience while in the stage. You can get those vibrations, those kind of electric body sensations. You can have a sense of like a really rapid heartbeat, but it's not your heart, don't be afraid. Uh, you might hear noises outside of your room. You might hear a roaring jet sound in your ears, but it's not hurting your ears. It's just really loud. So what you need to do when you start experiencing that stuff is you really need to stay calm. Number one, huge factor. Just stay calm. It's fine. Nothing's going to happen to you. And so once you do that, it should subside. All those effects kind of go away and it gets quieter. And that is when you do the next step, you exit. Transitional phase is past. All those weird like vibrations or noises or anything have kind of quieted down. And that's when you try to get out. I tried and I just couldn't do it. I don't know what it is, but lucid dreaming is so much more easy than this. Trying to leave your body in that little 15 second transition stage of you being awake and you falling asleep is so much more complex. You have to have a lot of control over your mind. I would have to repeat affirmations every single night, very similar to lucid dreaming, where I would tell myself, Tonight, I will astral project. I will astral project tonight. I am more than just my physical body. I would also visualize myself doing it. Before I would sleep, I would close my eyes and I would think about myself leaving my body. It's a very weird thing to think about, but I would visualize myself getting out of my physical body and walking around my room and leaving my bedroom and going to float around to other places. And just to go the extra mile, I would wake up every single night at four in the morning, wake up, walk around, use the bathroom and go back to bed in hopes of forcing myself back into a sleep state where I could then astral project. I started feeling my body vibrating, like vibrating intensely. And it kept on like exponentially vibrating like higher and higher, like my entire body was like an Xbox controller. But I start to see my, my vision zoom out like you see how in Call of Duty there's like a FOV slider, like field of view, how you can like zoom out of your current view and see more that's like around you. I started to hear this ringing noise in my ear and it got really extremely like uncomfortably loud, but it didn't hurt my ears though. I got so excited that I actually heard that sound. He said to roll out way after the vibrations, way after the sounds until they're just back to a normal state. That's when you're in paralysis. And I, I moved out of my, I woke myself up. I haven't slept right in the last, 20 for something days and I would quit but I remember exactly what it felt like to almost go astral I know exactly what it feels like to be 90% there and almost get it holy shit your boy fucking astral projected after like what 40 days of setting alarms every single night and getting shitty sleep every single night I finally astral projected I just wasn't aware that I was astral projecting Holy fuck, dude, I'm so fucking excited. I was laying down on my side and I turned over to tell my friends, yo, guys, get out of my room. You guys are making so much noise and I'm trying to get some sleep. I'm trying to astral project. And my friends were just sitting there laughing. They're just jumping on the bed. They're playing Smash Bros. They had the TV blasted so loud. And I was like, yo, I can't get any sleep. Get out of my fucking room. And I didn't realize when I turned over, I left 
my body. I astral projected. I left my physical body. So you basically did project and just need to get the hell up and out. Personally, I think there's some kind of automatic system sometimes to keep us from trying to experience it. For you, it was your friends making noise. Something was creating that to stop you. For me, I had the voice of my wife constantly talking to me during my experience and I had to focus all the time to block it out. She wasn't even in the room when this was happening. Something was trying to distract me like it was doing to you. Stand up, clarity and awareness, and get the f*** out. The closer you are to your body, the easier it is to get pulled back in like a magnet. I think today is like day 60 or 70, but I astral projected again. I woke up in the morning, and then I said, oh wait, I should probably try to AP. So I lay back down, and I just completely stay still while keeping my mind awake. I let my body fall asleep and I felt the weird tingly sensations throughout my entire body. I felt the like the vibration stage. And then right after that, I opened my eyes back up. I seen my mom come into my room and she was really, really loud. And she said, hey, Alex, make sure that you turn on the alarm. We're all leaving the house, okay? And then I was like, okay, mom. She kept on talking really, really loud. She kept on being persistent and loud and she was just doing a bunch of things to like wake me up. So I wake up and I was really, really pissed off. I was like, Mom, I was literally almost astral projecting. She was like, what's that? And then when she said that, I was like, I told you what that was last week. Oh, shit. That was an astral projection. That wasn't my real mom that walked into my room, told me to turn on the alarm. That's fucking intense, dude. Every time I astral project, something in the astral realm morphs into somebody that I know, like my friend, my cousin, my mother. And then they walk into my room and they make a lot of noises so that I think I'm waking up, but I'm actually astral. They try to distract me so I don't explore the astral realm. This has happened twice so far. Damn, they got me again, bro. Fuck. And I walked around my house, right? I woke up and I went downstairs and I was like, damn it, man. I just got woken up. I was almost astral. I, I almost did it. And I was still astral. But I was so confused by whatever that thing was in the astral realm that looked like and talked like my mother and i see my family there and i was just walking around and i got a cup of water and then i eventually went back to my bedroom and everybody was was acting weird like everybody in my house was just like doing things that they don't normally do like i don't know like i saw like my dad home earlier than he normally is it just everything just felt a little bit off see how when you first wake up and everything just looks blurry a little bit until you like blink your eyes like five times so that's exactly exactly what the astral realm looked like when you just wake up literally your eyes just wake up after like a nine hour nap and then everything is just blurry i saw her walk through this door she walked into my bedroom and she was really really loud it seemed like she was purposely trying to wake me up there's something in another realm tricking me into coming back to this that's so scary dude if you can explain what happened to me please comment that down below i would love to understand the true explanation of what was happening to me twice in the astral realm i am also dropping merch that says thinking of god in arabic it's dropping it's going to be a really high quality hoodie kind of like what happened with my virgin hoodies it's going to be fully stitched really really sweet so they're going to be dropping thinking of god on a hoodie right now like check lucidmerch.com to get the hoodie before it's gone you have about uh, 14 to 16 days before the hoodie is gone and it will never ever come back check it out in the link in the description below you fuck it feel Allah. i think that's how you say it or you fuck it on Allah. I, i'm not even great with arabic but anyways thank you for watching this video stay dreaming stay lucid i'm out peace